Maybe it's a classic or maybe a flop. Has Katie seen it? She probably has not. She'll sit down and watch it if it's good or it's bad. Hey, have you seen this? No, Katie hasn't seen that. Hi, I'm Katie, and if I had a nickel for every time someone said to me, wait, you haven't seen this movie? Oh my god, you need to see this movie. I'd be very rich. So this is my podcast, where I finally watch those movies you all have told me I need to see, and I tell you what I think. Hello, hello, hello. This is Katie, reporting for duty, for season two of Katie Hasn't Seen That. Now, I know, it's been more than a summer break. Okay, I get it. I know that it has taken longer than expected for a season two to come out, but Katie hasn't seen that as a huge passion project for me. It's something that I didn't expect people to actually like listen to. And so I'm super grateful that you make time in your life if you're listening to this to hear my opinions and all these beloved movies that all of you have enjoyed and I somehow tear apart a lot of the time. So I guess buckle up for season two. I've done things a little bit differently this time. I have a bunch of episodes coming out for you, and I'm really excited for you all to hear them. I think we got a good lineup of movies that have been on the list for a while, and I'm really excited to have conversations with all of you about these movies. And now I can finally get inside jokes about these movies, and that's awesome. So first and foremost, thank you for listening to Katie Hasn't Seen That. Thank you for wanting more of this podcast, and thank you for having so many fun discussions with me about these movies. I'm very excited for you all to hear this season. Shout out to Mark. Mark has been a huge savior. He has edited most of the episodes for this season. Mark can do it, aka my husband. And he also did the song, the music for this show as well. So huge shout out to Mark for helping make this possible. Because like I said, Katie Hasn't Seen That is a passion project. I don't get paid to do this. This is not something that I earn money doing. So I never do this. But if you would like to support myself and the podcast, and if you've enjoyed it and you want to support me in some way, you can come over to my Twitch channel and I'm hanging out over there and there's ways to support over there. But I also have a Ko-fi. It's just ko-fi.com slash Plays. And if you want to throw a little something my way to say thanks for the podcast or buy me a coffee to fuel me through watching some of these atrocious movies that you all make me watch. <laughs> Obviously, there's been some really good ones in here, too. There is a way to do that. And thank you so much to everybody who does support me in the podcast. Some of you might be asking yourselves, Katie, what have you been doing, though? Like, why is it taking so long for Katie hasn't seen that season two to roll up? Let me tell you, it's been busy as f- Lots of good things, just a lot of projects the last bit of time that have kind of pushed things around. So I have been working on Katie hasn't seen that probably for nine to ten months now. So the episodes you will hear will be from over time. And I'm very excited Like I said before, I want to tell you all the movies. Part of me is like, do I want to tell you all the movies or do I want you all to be surprised? I don't know. Let's just say there's some sci-fi, there's some action, there's some drama, there's some comedy, and there's some up stuff too. Okay. (laughs) I'm going to highlight a couple of things I have been doing in case you're interested or wanted to know what I have been doing the last year. Listen, I'm doing my best to juggle it all. I'm just always kind of flooding, flooding? Is that a word? Fluting? Flood? What is it? Fluttering? Fluttering around from project to project. And I'm very fortunate. I stream over on Twitch. I have a full-time job on top of all these side projects that I do. I'm a busy, busy bee. And I'm trying to also carve room for myself out in that too. And find more ways to enjoy my life. Because I feel like that's been something that the struggle is like, I'm a workaholic. I've always been a workaholic. I've always been... As sad as it is to admit, addicted to the grind a bit, and I'm trying to find ways to slow that down and enjoy a bit of the slower moments in life. Still been really busy the last bit, but been better about saying no to some things. And I gotta tell you all, saying no is a scary thing because there's always like FOMO or worried that am I missing out on something? And I said no to two things that I normally would have never said no to. And Honestly, I don't regret it. I am so happy I made that decision. And I look at the things that are current ongoing projects that have other people doing the thing that I was asked to do. And I have no FOMO. I was a huge relief 
it was something that gave me more time to be able to focus on these other things that I've been working on and maybe not overextending myself as much as normal. So all I'm saying is that you say no every now and then. This is a huge rubric that I've started to use for it. If you're not excited about it and you just don't feel good about it, like mostly listen to your gut. That is something I've also been doing the last year as I've been working on myself a lot. I've been really focused on the person I want to be, the person I am, and reconciling some things. So obviously therapy, all that good stuff, but I've been also focusing a lot of my time on becoming more set in my foundation and who I am and the person I want to be. And I've been very happy with where I'm starting to head towards and the steps that I've taken. So that's been something I've been working on. And just saying no is huge. And trusting your gut and listening to those little things that your tummy tells you where you're like, "Mm, maybe you should think about that. So I'm just going to say, trust your intuition. I don't think it will ever really steer you too awry. So in the time that I've been away, I have worked on some tabletop shows and it's been really, really good. It's something where I've felt so satisfied in tabletop. If you don't know what like, tabletop is and you're just like, what the heck are you talking about, Katie? Think Dungeons and Dragons, but it's not always set in the Dungeons and Dragons fantasy world. Like I was a part of several shows over the last bit. Some of them, yes, were Dungeons and Dragons type shows. I got to play a barbarian Goliath, which was so fun and may have handed knives to small children because she wanted to build up strong warrior-like people in the world. <laughs> I also did a maid show where I played a murderous psychologist with some magic and it was such a trip and it was a really, really fun show to be a part of. I also got to do Pride and Prejudice themed tabletop where I played someone who worked downstairs in a house. I was a housemaid and that was one of the most rewarding and fun shows I've ever been on. And I also was in a show about dragons. I played a dragon and I was a dragon writer and I've done various one shots and Other things over time, I did a Radiant Citadel one shot recently that was really cool with Wizards of the Coast. I've gotten to work with Wizards of the Coast a couple times um, and did another cool segment with them about their Strixhaven release. So if you didn't know that about me, I do a lot of tabletop and I have done a lot of tabletop over the years. So I'm probably a part of one or many shows as side projects I do on top of my Twitch streaming as well as my job and I've gotten to do some really cool campaigns and one shots and things over the last year. But I also did something that took up a lot of my time. I will fully admit this. I did a charity stream for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And one of the rewards was me GMing or being a game master for another one shot. So I don't do them very often, but I poured a lot of hard work into a one shot that I did. It's called The Cabin. It is a horror drama. And you know me, I love my horror. So if you're interested in seeing that project, it is on my YouTube. You can watch the whole thing. I did all the production. I wrote my own rule set for it. I made all the overlays. I worked on a ton of stuff. I did all the audio design. It was a very huge project that I did, and I really hope people enjoyed it. And if you want to see it, that is up on my YouTube. Just search The Cabin TTRPG Horror Drama or The Cabin Katie Peters Plays on YouTube and you will find it. It's also saved as a VOD you can watch on my Twitch channel. That was a very huge project that I worked on. So if you're interested in checking that out, it is out there for you to watch. Or if you just want to see me role play in a variety of different scenarios, there's all these other shows that I've been a part of too. So definitely check all that stuff out. So I did that first St. Jude fundraiser and unlocked that show that I did. But then I also did another fundraiser this last year and uh, we raised around $14,000 for St. Jude in May because I do a whole month event and very proud of the community. And we raised a lot of money for a really good cause. And also we've raised money for Best Friends Animal Society. And I tried to do a few charity streams over the years. And those take a lot of planning and, and prep and stuff. And I just really love being able to do that. And I'm very proud of the community that surrounds me and that we've done some really cool things for some really good causes over the years. I also, surprise, if you didn't know this, I have another podcast with my friend Rob. It is called Quantum Drive, and it is a podcast devoted to every episode of The Orville ever. The Orville is a fantastic show that Rob and I both love. We come from the background of loving Star Trek, especially the next generation. And so that's something Rob and I bonded over. So Seth MacFarlane made a show called The Orville. And when it came out, we both were really surprised about how much we loved it. So we had talked and it was like, I think we should do a podcast about this. 
when we started this podcast like three years ago, it's been a minute. So we've gone through every episode of the Orville and done discussion. But what's been really cool is we had been able to interview some of the people who work behind the scenes, like editors, writers, creative designers, really, really cool people, special effects coordinators, like people from behind the shows that are so cool. And this was just something that Rob and I started doing. And so with COVID, season three has been pending to come out for a while. In June, season three came out of the Orville. Really quickly, let me just tell you a synopsis of what the Orville is about. For anyone who's like, I don't know what show you're talking about. It's created by Seth MacFarlane. He also is the creator of Family Guy. The show's different. It does have humor integrated into it, but it's much, much, much more than that. The Orville is set 400 years in the future and finds the crew of the USS Orville continuing their mission of exploration as they navigate both the mysteries of the universe and the complexities of their own interpersonal relationships. It's such a fun show, but it's also such a poignant show. And Rob and I talk in great detail about every episode. So season three came out. We were doing episodes every single week. I was editing videos for the YouTube channel and we were interviewing the cast and crew. So there was one week where Rob and I did three interviews, recorded the podcast and had four days straight of things we needed to be there for interviews, recordings. We were doing this every single week and we're very proud of the podcast. So if you're curious and you're like, I want more podcasts from Katie, you can listen to Quantum Drive. And also, I highly recommend the show. It's such a fun show. And then you get to hear Rob and I talk about it, have discussions about it. And also you get to see cool interviews that we got to do with the cast and crew. I'm very excited that we got to do that. That was a very busy 10 weeks. And by the time I'm recording this, we're still not even done with that season yet. Rob and I have a bunch of other podcast episodes planned, so go check out that podcast. I also work on that one, so that's another project that I've worked on this last year. Also, this was a really cool thing for me because I love the Orville so much. Hulu actually reached out through Twitch, and I got to do a big sponsored feature with them on the front page of Twitch, hyping up the season three premiere the day it was released on Twitch's front page. So I was just over the moon about that. And I'm just very excited. I feel very fortunate to have the experiences I've had doing that podcast. And it's been a huge part of my summer so far. So I've been working hard on that as well. I was trying to think if there's any movies I've watched that I've liked that I'm like, oh, what can I talk about movie wise that I've liked? And I'll be honest with you. I was talking with Mark and I could not figure out any movies that I've actually liked besides Alien. I literally have not been able to figure out if I've liked any other movies since last recording. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm just forgetting things. I've seen movies. I watched Last Night in Soho. It was fine. I love Edgar Wright. It was an okay movie. Uh, I watched Everything and Everywhere all at once. Very creative, very unique movie for sure. But I didn't love it. So I feel like I'm still on the hunt of finding some new movies. And I don't know. I'm like, is it the podcast? Am I just too analytical of everything? I also will say, With the pandemic and all that stuff going on, it's been hard to like be excited about going to the movies. And I'm still getting used to the idea of going and sitting in a movie theater. So I think that's part of it. Like I have not gone to the movies besides one time, the closing night that they had the forever purge in theaters. We went and saw that with about six other people just scattered about the theater with my mask on, watch the whole movie. And that's the only time in the last two years I've been to a movie theater. So getting used to the idea of getting back into the theaters. And I think that's partially why, because we haven't done that as much as we used to. And we used to see a lot more new things and go out a lot more to do that stuff. So at home movie experience is not quite the same. Hoping to find some movies that I absolutely love in the next bit. But I was like, okay, I gotta try to think of things to tell everybody like, what movies have I loved in the last bit? Not many, not many. And I guess you'll have to find out this season of the movies that I've watched if I did like any of them. Also, if you didn't know, I stream over on Twitch. I do a lot of video game streaming. We do just chatting a lot. I love talking to all of you. But we also play a lot of horror games. We play a lot of weird off the wall games, too. And my whole goal is to hopefully make someone laugh and spend time together escaping the world or having conversations about what's going on in our world and also just enjoying off the wall goofy games and spooky games where you can laugh at me for getting jump scared and just spending time together. So if you want to come hang out with me on Twitch, just follow me at twitch.tv slash katiepetersplays. And I show up there. I have a pretty regular schedule. 
you can usually count on me. And if I have a change in my schedule, I always love to let you all know. So it's kind of like I have my own TV show that that doesn't not saying that I have a TV show, but it's like, oh, I have regularly scheduled programming. So, you know, that's, that's something to, to check out if you want. But yes, I'm just rambling at this point. I have been talking for almost 20 minutes and I just wanted to touch base and say, hey, get hyped. Season two is here. A little catch up with Katie, a little what's been going on. Obviously, there's been a lot of other things going on, too. Life is just a roller coaster, I think, for everybody. It's been a rough past couple years. We've had a lot of change in the world. We've had a lot of upset in what daily life is. And I think we're all just kind of recovering from that and finding where we want to land. And so I appreciate all of your patience with me. Finally getting season two to you all. And I appreciate that you're even here listening. So get excited for season two because it's coming your way. And you know what? I'm just, you know, for listening to this, I'm going to tell you what the first movie is. This one has been highly requested. Highly request. The first movie up and coming that you can look forward to. Episode one of season two is on Starship Troopers. So you'll have to listen to that episode to find out what I think. Until next time, everybody, keep your popcorn warm for me. I will talk to you all soon. And let me know what movies you've loved over the last bit. Tweet at me, comment on YouTube, yell at me in Twitch chat, join Discord. Come tell me your favorite movies from the last bit. And I'll catch you all in the new season of Katie Hasn't Seen That. If you want to hang out with me more, or if you just want to yell at me for my thoughts on a specific movie... I stream over on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash katiepetersplays. If you'd like to support the podcast and buy me a coffee to fuel my reviews, you can over on Ko-fi at www.ko-fi.com slash katiepetersplays. You can join my Discord to discuss the movies I review with other Katie Hasn't Seen That fans by visiting discordapp.com slash invite slash katiepetersplays. If you enjoy Katie Hasn't Seen That, please leave a five-star rating and review wherever you listen to your podcasts. It helps others find the show. Also, feel free to follow and chat with me on Twitter at PlayKatiePlay and on Instagram and YouTube at KatiePetersPlays. Music written and performed by Mark Can Do It, Katie Hasn't Seen That is a part of the Geek Generation Network.